All right, uh, just on the road here again on my way home from a uh, competition this weekend, uh, the um, biannual competition we have in uh, Van Alstine, Texas. Um, congratulations to uh, uh, bond, weightlift bond, bond weightlifting athletes, Maddie Vincent, uh, lifted really well, four for six performance. Um, Coach Adam uh, lifted really well today, uh, four for six for him as well, um, and uh, he won. So. Uh, congratulations to them. Most of the other Vaughn weightlifting, weightlifting athletes are going to be competing in two weeks at our uh, annual bar Barbells for Boobs uh, competition. Sorry, I'm stuttering a little bit there. It's, it's a little late uh, trying, trying to make it home, but I uh, wanted to pull over for a minute and, and get this video uh, done for you guys to talk to you about week 13 and 14. So just two weeks left. Uh, a lot of you guys on the program will be competing in the Barbells for Boobs event as well. Uh, some of the other guys, of course, that are in the area, um, hopefully you've got a competition to go to or uh, you just have a, a heavy training session planned for yourself. But uh, in either case, uh, getting into the specifics of this coming week, I'm um, going to be playing with the percentages quite a bit more. I've uh, been doing a lot of, you know, 85% uh, and above on snatch, clean and jerk and, and squat and, and that kind of thing. But Make sure that you're paying attention to the percentages. Look at those percentages. Again, there's a purpose for them uh, and, and follow them. So um, coming up in, uh, in particular on Wednesday, if you're in the, the five day or the three day a week program, and then Thursday, if you're in the four day a week program, uh, you're gonna have your last heavy session and spe uh, spe specified is gonna be 85 to 99% in the snatch and 85 to 97 percent of the clean and jerk and again there's purpose for that um make sure that you don't go over that you know indicated is no prs we want to save those at this point we're close enough to the competition we want to save those uh and save you as much as we can for your test day um again whether that's a competition uh or not also uh keep in mind or, or pay attention to the percentages that are written where it indicates percent of best and current cycle so where I say 85 to 99 percent, for example, or, or any other percentages uh, through these next couple weeks, it indicates um, off of your best and current cycle, and that's very important as well. So I know some of you guys have gotten PRs, and if you got a PR this cycle, then go off of that number. If you didn't, uh, then go off of the number that you, the, the best number that you've hit this cycle, and that means the, you know, anywhere from week week one up to this point. And, and I know we've only really been. Um, you know, pushing for heavy lifts over the last two or three weeks, but uh, just go off of those percentages and will help set you up much better uh, for the competition or the test day uh, coming up. Um, to go along with that, make sure, you know, as always indicated, read your body. Um, those ranges are there for a reason as well. So 85 to 99% or 85 to 97% uh, or even when I was 85% and above, you know, it that's truly what it means. If if you're struggling that day, uh, and it says five to ten reps, only do five reps at eighty five percent. You should be able to get you know an eighty five percent weight. You should be able to make at least five of those in a workout. Kind of no no matter how you're feeling. Um, but even up to this point, you know, we want you to have a good day on your last heavy session. But you know, even if you struggle a little bit, and even if you had to say do five reps at eighty five percent, and that and that's all you did. Um, then you know you're better off doing that and not forcing it. And you're going to set yourself up much better for the test day, uh, that competition day or that test day uh, that you're going to use. And um, you know, it, I've done it many times myself where I've had a, a terrible, um, you know, last heavy session or it didn't didn't go the way that I wanted it to. And uh, the times that I just kind of let it go, I followed the two miss rule and I said, you know what, it's okay. Um, back down do do some some good reps at, at uh, those medium heavy weights that I can uh, and I'm, I would always be better off for that in that competition and so you know no matter how you feel on this last heavy heavy session or throughout this last week it doesn't really indicate how you're gonna perform in the competition or it doesn't have to mean that you're gonna perform not as well as you want and so if you just play it smart you read your body and back down where you need to back down and stay at those lower ranges, you have a much better chance to perform very well at the competition. So keep that in mind as well. Um, the couple more things, the snatch and clean deadlifts uh, throughout this week are gonna be very light. 
um, so stick to those numbers as well and those are off your snatch and clean too so I know I know for a lot of you guys that that's a really light number 75% um, but but uh, again that's there for a reason keep it light and uh, help that allow you to recover and uh, to really work and um, uh, work and perfect those positions okay uh, you do have a heavy opportunity in the front squat and that's going to be on your last heavy snatch and clean and jerk day um, so there's an opportunity there for you to go for it there is a high end on the, I do have a range there where I'm capping you but um, you know go for it and go for that high that high range if, if you're feeling good and uh, the high rep the high end of the rep range as well so uh, kind of have fun with that other than that guys we're we're bringing it down especially after that last heavy day and uh, we'll be pulling it back much much more uh, next week in week 14 of 14 and uh, we'll look forward to, to bringing you into the competition and, and hearing how you guys do. So we'll, we'll see you next week.